Good day and God bless. Welcome to our time of devotion and prayer. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you for your word and our place in the giving of your word, in your place in the ministry of your word, in our place in the receiving of your word. Lord, help us right now to receive it unto our spirits, unto the guidance of our day, that we might journey with a profound wisdom that we wouldn't have on our own. Lord, help us look to this word as more than stories or philosophies, but truth. Lord, so many things in our lives claim to be truth, but Lord, this we know that we can depend upon. Lord, help us when doubts and fears assail our understanding of this truth. When we question it because learned people question and critique. Lord, help us to see past those who are just looking for a good argument to make themselves famous. And those who are also trying to, to dig deeper into truth, to have deeper truths, to help us all understand you more fully. Lord, this takes more than one person's discerning ideology. It takes all of us working together to be as your church, a discerning people, a guided people, and those willing to cooperate even in the midst of our disagreements. Lord, we pray for the church in the way we disagree. And how too often we try to make ourselves appear right. And Lord, in the way that we do not seek your righteousness nor your kingdom, forgive us, Lord. And with renewed humility, let us encounter this word this day together and be guided and uplifted and healed that we may bring healing and hope and truth into the world that we go to care for as we pray now in Christ Jesus' name. Amen. And in looking to the scriptures, we learn to the, look to the words of the prophet Isaiah, chapter 54, reading at verse 10. For as the rain cometh down, and the snow from heaven, and returneth not thither, but watereth the earth, and maketh it bring forth the bud, that, that it may give seed to the sower, and bread to the eater. Well, I have no tr trouble being that eater of the bread. And I look very much forward to planting the seed, sowing the seed. But... Beginning now, in the snow, in the snow changing to rain, it's a time to reflect, to prepare, to remember, to relearn, to study trends. And as much as that's true for the garden or the farmer's field, it's true in a lot of life. It is so important as we come into a season of, of engagement, of of gathering, a, a, a creating a crop, of, of, of doing our part to, to work among God's people, to, to build up a sense of richness and strength and renewal, that we do so recognizing the real reality that's around us, that if there's no, if there's no abundance of nourishment and refreshment, that we first look to renew and refresh, that even as the farmer looks to say, I must fertilize my field. That we look to, to our communities and our church and say, how is it that I can enrich these people's lives so that we may together build up a, an abundance of faith among the people that we serve and not just be moving from crisis to crisis. <clears throat> Isaiah is telling God's people that even as they are going forward into a bright new day that is filled with hope, we go forward in the necessary steps that see us from one season to the next, one day to the next, not forgetting what always has to be done, but we need to remember that we each have a part in doing, that we may appreciate the gifts that come from all this hard work, and that it may be God's word that goes out from us, and not simply the praise of our own efforts, but the celebration of all that God does in us. God bless and keep you. Amen.